Fire Rescue Senior Capstone Presentation. Again, my name is Abe Matthew. Really excited. We've been working on these projects for months now. Uh, this is just a little get to know me slide. Uh, here's me right here, really blurry. But I've been a part of this public safety program since freshman year, all four years of high school. Uh, I joined because my grandpa was a fire captain in Fort Leavenworth. This was before I was born, but uh, I always aspired to, you know, just be like my grandpa. He was a really big influence on my life, and it really hurt to, uh, he passed away this past October. And uh, I just wanted to make him proud. That was a big part of my like, reason to be in the program. I've lived in Olathe all my life, and I think becoming a firefighter in the city of Olathe would be a really great way to give back to my community because I love this town. I've grown up here. I just, it's really cool. Um, these four pictures are of activities at West. I'm on the swim team here. Uh, I'm one of the captains with Caleb Greer, who's down the hall in the med act room. Uh, I've been doing that for all four years of high school. It's really helped me like work on my teamwork skills and my leadership skills, uh, being put in that leadership role. Here is a picture of a couple of my friends in the theater department. Uh, as you can tell, I am in a microphone and wearing stage makeup. We are down in the office board and currently working on our Adams Family Musical, but that's just something I'd like to do. Another performing arts, I'm in band. This is my friend Titus, he's in law, in law enforcement. He had, he had his presentation last night, but he said he said it went really well. I manage the girls swim team here. I've done that since last year, and I just I have a great time. I'm really involved with the with the swim teams here at the West. And this is my uh, summer job. I lifeguard for the Parks and Rec Department of Olathe, and I've been doing that also since I was a freshman. And I get that first aid knowledge, and also that giving back to my community, which I really enjoy. Uh, as part of my class experience. Uh, freshman year, this is our intro to public safety class. Our first semester is divided into law enforcement focus, and our second semester is fire rescue focus. And at the end of the year, uh, all the freshmen get to decide what class they would like to go into. And all this I've written here is like all the second semester main focuses of stuff that we would get introduced to. Uh, establishment of the fire codes, I remember. We would build like miniature uh, projects of, you know, sp specific cases of the fire codes being put into like the books and stuff. Uh, I had a, I had a circus fire, and the fire code had to do with uh, installation of fire exits because like a cigarette or something like caught on some hay at the circus, and uh, many people died because they couldn't find a way out. But all this stuff from freshman year has really stuck with me well. The PPE, we use this like every day in our class pretty much with our gloves and our safety glasses and even like full gear. We've done it into SBAs quite a bit, quite a few times over the years. And every year we have our 9-11 unit where we do a stair climb on our big stairs out here and we get assigned a fallen firefighter to do research on and we like post their pictures up just a way of remembering them and honoring their sacrifice. Uh, that's a lot of freshman year, but that now happens every year. Fire Rescue 1 is sophomore year, Fire Rescue 2 is junior year. That's when we get into more specific stuff, like the ladders and the tools, and going into uh, searches, and even uh, using fire hydrants and hose, actually uh, spraying water, uh, like just around the back of the school, just in the grass. And sometimes we set up cones and just practice our aim with our pistol grips, which I heard are going out to uh, anatomy is a public safety required class. I took that junior year, and we went into a muscle unit. I, for our bones unit, I enjoyed that a lot more because we got to make our own like bone parody music videos, just a way of remembering the bones. But uh, I I like anatomy a lot. It's required for the, all the public safety students, and it was a good time my junior year. Public safety PE is uh, basic, like, it's like the basic weights program we have in our school, but we also throw in some like CPAT training, like uh, tool farmer's walks and uh, dummy drags and stair climbs. That's a big part of it. We put on weight vests and see how long we can do stair climbs, like maybe two or three minutes on that. 
but that's also junior year. So biorespiratory two, anatomy, and public safety PE are all junior year. So my junior year was packed last year, but it was really fun. And this year's senior capstone, we've gone uh, hazmat a lot for, uh, first semester, and the second semester has mainly focused on these presentations and our ride-alongs. And I've gone on about four ride-outs so far, but only been on one call. Uh, these are more specific skills that I've expanded on. Speci uh, in this next slide, I have a video that I've made for uh, incoming freshmen in the intro class about bladders. We have uh, companies in the class. They split us up into specific groups like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. And my Charlie group was assigned to ladders. And I, uh, our, we just filmed ourselves introducing the anatomy of a ladder, how to carry it and hoist it. Uh, just like kind of easy POV of a student teaching another freshman student with that. Uh, ropes and knots, that was a big part of freshman year. Uh, I can do bowl and knot, square knot, uh, figure eight on a bite, figure eight bend. That was a, it was hard for freshman year, but once you get that in your brain, it's pretty easy. Uh, victim search and removal, we, we would practice out that way. We have our baseball complex in that building. It's really good because no one's ever there during class time. So we take that opportunity on our block period days to go out and like blind ourselves so we can't see. And we can search around uh, like the bathrooms in there. They're pretty cool. Uh, search around the bathrooms in there and just practice finding our hose dummies that we've made. But that's, it's a good uh, team builder for our companies. Fire extinguishers, we've learned about the classes, hose, we have different hose lays, and during our final last year, we'd have to get our hose on our shoulder, or get it off the truck, and uh, walk it up to a simulated doorway, play it out, and spray some cones, like I talked about earlier. Uh, PPE, that's been uh, with us since our freshman year. We've had our own personal gear for a couple of years now. Uh, we have our very own public safety fire rescue helmets that are blue, and uh, SCBAs, we've been using those since freshman year. We had to uh, blind ourselves out with our face masks and uh, install the bottle, turn it on, hook yourself up, which was, I think is pretty fun. And like I said, hazmat this year, we've learned about, recently we've been doing decontamination. Uh, but yeah, this is just specific skills I've learned over all four years of freshman. Here's me demonstrating skills. So right in this top corner, there's me spraying the cone that I was talking about. And we had to pipe raise this ladder and carry this saw up and do a big, <laughs> big dummy drag to like specific location. But our final, our physical final for last year, so we had both final and both stuff down. And our physical final was this like obstacle course mock there. And it was pretty physically trying, but I think we all enjoyed, I think we all enjoyed it, it was fun. Uh, this in the bottom corner is our homecoming bonfire, and I have, there we go. I have a pretty good angle of the PPE that we wear, and it's pretty dark, but we have a host coming in here, and we like this big bonfire for our school. It's really cool that uh, us fire rescue students get to do this, because we have a lot of students come out for that homecoming uh, homecoming carnival, and it's just a good time. Here's that video I was talking about with the ladders. What's up, guys? Welcome to Public Safety. You can see our PPE that we wear with our jackets and our blue helmets. I got my boys to help you with this around the camera, and today we're going to teach you about ladders, how to raise them, and how to carry them. First, we need to go over the anatomy of a ladder. This here is a straight, well low ladder. Right here on the side, these are called the beams. Uh, as interesting and engaging, but also keeping it simple, because the freshman, I want to get the program as big as possible. Uh, it gets bigger every year, and I think if I make things more fun and engaging for the freshman to see, then that'll encourage more people over time. And this program is just a really good time. I'm glad I put it in the effort. I went to I went to Santa Fe Trail for middle school, and uh, that is a feeder school into a lake of north, so I wouldn't have gotten a chance to go here, but in eighth grade, I decided to fill out that transfer form 
and come here, and it, it's a really great decision. I was really scared freshman year because, uh, like I said, my friends were feeding into a lake in the north, so this was kind of a fresh start for me, and I got to get involved in all those activities like you saw earlier. And I've had a really great experience with this program, meeting those new friends, and just learning a whole bunch of stuff about the workforce and uh, you know, being a firefighter. This is my final slide, it's a massive paragraph. But these are how my skills that I've learned here are gonna help in my life. Big thing, there's a couple main focuses on here. I can use my teamwork skills I've learned in the workplace to help build stronger, more trusted relationships. In the workplace, my actual current workplace, the lifeguarding, I have the best coworkers probably ever. And uh, I know on my internships, I've talked with other firefighters about how their like brotherly trust is, and it doesn't compare. It's I think it's the best environment for me because I enjoy being with people and being social and uh, having a good time, but also like being serious when we have to, like with those training drills we're running in here. Uh, but the teamwork is a big part of it. I have a great respect for the responsibility and dedication needed in this field because you have teams and families depending on you to do your job and do it well. Uh, greater respect, we, like a couple weeks ago I was at station four and uh, we were about to test the chainsaws and we got them out, I had my safety glasses on, my gloves, uh, everything was fueled up and we got them, we were about to go and then we had to get on a call. Uh, like responsibility, it was not as, responsibility for the tools went out the window. We put them back on the truck, we had to go, and it was just down to Mid American Nazarene University for burnt popcorn. But still, like that dedication needed in this field is insane, and I I see that way more this senior year, second semester, than I have ever have over the first three years of high school. Uh, I would go to these hands-on days more than anything else we participate with in class. So every week is set up with seven hour day, seven hour day, odd periods, even period, and then seven hour day. So this class takes place in seventh hour and we have a longer class time. And we use that time to have our hands-on skills. We use those uh, for getting gear, we can do our searches in those. Recently we've been doing our project work, that's when we have the most work time. But those hand-on days, like over last year, with uh, you know anatomy, doing all the, all the bone and muscle stuff, and the public safety PE, doing the physical stuff, like stair climbs. Uh, I just have a great time with all the physical aspects. Uh, I haven't helped, although it hasn't helped me decide exactly what I want to apply myself to in the future, I know I can use the things I've learned to become whatever suits me. As of right now, I know I'm having so much fun in this academy, and I'm having so much fun on my internships, but I haven't decided if I'm ready to go into that service yet. Because, as I was saying, the dedication is insanely high. And I know as an 18 year old in high school, I might not have that quality yet. Um, I do know that I'm going to JCCC for uh, college next year. I have enrolled in a couple fire science classes. And uh, recently I've earned a CTE scholarship through this program, Career Technical Education Scholarship, uh, I have a full ride for two years. So I can use those two years to really apply myself in school to those fire science classes and get the information I need before I can make a final decision. But this, this kind of gets me great team building and trust skills overall with my companies, with my teachers, uh, with the firefighters I intern with. I have built up so much respect over these four years and even respect for the fallen firefighters, like I was saying, with my, with my life. It's just so much respect and dedication, and I just really appreciate everything I've learned from this program. I can't wait to use it in the future. But that is my entire presentation. I will answer any questions if you guys have anything for me. But thank you.